Hi dancers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie, I'm the owner and one of the instructors here at Broche Ballet Studios. Today I wanna to talk about how to get higher legs. Everyone wants higher extensions, right? So today let's dig into how we're gonna get there. So first of all, you wanna work on this in a couple of different exercises. I'm gonna give you three different exercises today. So the first exercise that we're gonna do is actually a fondue exercise. Now the reason we're gonna do a fondue exercise is because we can really start to understand the turnout and how all that works, which is really critical to getting extensions. Your high extensions aren't gonna come without turnout in ballet. So for our fondue exercise, we're gonna start um, with one hand on the bar. We're gonna start here in fifth position. We're gonna do a fondue, and then we're going to extend, and we're gonna think about rotating your top, your, your working leg so much that it starts to bend into attitude. You don't wanna think about just bending your leg to make attitude. You actually wanna think about rotating that so hard that it starts to turn out. We dig into this a little bit more in my turnout video on how, to, how, how turnout works and how to find it. So we're gonna use that here in the fondue as well. So the biggest concept to remember here is that you can always get more turnout when your legs are bent than when they're straight. The opposite of this means that if you turn out your legs more, they start to bend. So we're gonna use that concept in our fondue. We're gonna, we're gonna fondue, extend, and then turn out your legs so much that you feel it start to bend and create that attitude. Then you're gonna try and hold this amount of turnout in both your legs as you stretch your heel up and forward. Same thing side, we're gonna fondue, really feeling that rotation, extend side, and then rotate your legs so much that it makes attitude. Again, don't just bend your leg in to make attitude. That's way too easy. This is actually a lot of hard work to turn out those legs to get them to bend. You're here, rotate to make that attitude and stretch to the back. Extend, rotate, starting from the top of the hip, really rotate, lift that knee to make your attitude and stretch. And then one more time side to finish the encore. Rotate to make that attitude and stretch and close. So that's your first one that you're gonna use to really start working on warming up the turnout and getting a really good understanding of what it feels like to turn out in attitude and what it feels like to turn out stretched. Next, we're gonna do a develop exercise at the bar, and then I'll show you one more exercise on the floor. So at the bar, we're gonna do a develop that's gonna use our attitude to really get leverage to bring the leg up. So we're gonna do a coupe, and a passe, we're gonna do an attitude here. We're gonna plie and get more turnout in both our legs because as we talked about, you can always get more turnout with bent legs. More turnout in both the legs, and then as you stretch up, you're gonna really bring that heel up and forward and close. What you don't wanna have happen is after your attitude plie, you don't want this knee to turn in, then you don't want your leg to drop. So you really wanna kinda of plant that attitude and use that attitude as leverage to push your heel up and forward against it. So to the side, this looks like this. We've got coupe, passe, lift the knee to attitude side, plie, you're bringing your knee back and your heel forward there to get more turnout. Then you're gonna really plant your knee there and think about bringing your heel up and forward and close. To the back, coupe, passe, attitude back. You're really rotating from the top of that leg. You're lifting the knee back there. Plie, lift the knee even more. Get more rotation back there. And then stretch up and close. And then one more time side to finish off the cross. So while it might look like my legs are low in this particular demonstration, and yours will be when you start this too, this is how we start to understand how to use your attitude to get higher legs. Your attitude is the tool that you're gonna use to actually rotate your leg up into that high extension. Without that understanding of how your attitude relates to a stretched leg, it's gonna be really hard to get your legs up there. Even if you have a full splits, or can grab your leg and bring it over your head, to actually hold the leg up there all comes from this attitude and from that understanding understanding of how turnout is gonna help you kind of pull that leg up into the air. Last thing I'm gonna show you is on the ground. So I'm gonna lay down here on the ground and I'm gonna lay on my side, just keeping my head at a comfortable height. Um, I'm gonna think about making sure my hips are totally stacked. If that top hip falls back, I'm not doing it right. I really need to make sure that those hips are completely vertical. To do this, help with, I'm gonna plant this hand right in front of me so I can really push down on the ground and support myself in my abs. 
Next thing I'm gonna do, you can see that my legs are just slightly turned out. My bottom, my bottom leg is a little bit turned out just so it's a little bit more comfortable and makes my hips a little bit more even. I'm gonna take my top leg and bring it up to passe. Now what's probably gonna happen is that you're gonna sit back in that hip. This is no good. We don't wanna sit back in that hip. You have to push that hip up and forward. You think about pushing this part of your hip forward so that your hips would be totally flat. If you had a board right here, both hips would be touching it, not that hip leaning back. That's gonna cause your leg to turn in. So here we are with, in our passe. You're really bringing that heel forward, the knee back, and the hip forward. This is a lot of work right here. If this is all you can get today, this is already a big workout for those turnout muscles. From here, you're gonna lift your knee up to a high attitude. Again, trying to push your, knee, your hip forward, your knee back, and your heel forward. Go back to passe and up to high attitude. When you're ready, you're gonna try and keep your attitude right there, and you're gonna try and stretch your heel up and forward to make a nice extension. You don't want this to turn in. Once it turns in, you lose all leverage to get high legs. So this hip has to stay forward, the leg has to be rotated, and that heel has to be coming forward. So again, that exercise looks like this. We've got both, we've got the hip up, this leg a little turned out, and this leg turned out up to the sky. You're gonna lift your leg up to an attitude, and then rotate that heel forward and up to make that extension, and come down. So as you work on that extension, you're going to start getting stronger and stronger, be able to lift that attitude higher and be able to extend all the way up to that nice high extension. That's going to be for your extension side, but the same principles are going to apply for front and back. And once you really understand how your attitude is going to help you through this exercise, through the fondue and through the developé, then those legs are just going to soar. That's all for today, dancers. Hope, th hope this video helps you get nice high legs. Let me know any questions or discoveries you might have down below in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.